welcome to Bon Bon Tea. Hello, today we're embarking on a fun journey into the world of mathematics. Math has never been this exciting. Are you ready? Mathematics is a wonderful language where everything around us can be expressed in numbers. But before we begin, let's get familiar with numbers. Let's get started. Let's count together from 0 to 10. 1 Now let's match numbers with objects. We'll match numbers 1 through 5 with colourful blocks. This way, we'll see that each number represents a quantity. How many pink blocks do you see here? Correct! One! Alright, it looks like there are also two here. How beautiful these blocks are! There are exactly three of these blocks. There are exactly four blocks here. Two purple and two red. Wow! And finally, the last five blocks, they are all colourful. Are you ready for some addition and subtraction? Let's gamify this with what we find in the forest. We'll solve simple addition and subtraction problems using the items we discover. Hello, Mr. Snail. Do you know what these crosses mean? I can teach you this. That's the plus sign for additions. How many daisies are there? Let's add them up. Adding up means putting together or grouping together. Let's see how many daisies there are. Up here we have one and two and down there we have one. So all together three. There are three daisies. We have completed our first addition. While wandering in the forest, I found some beautiful flowers. How many flowers do I have in my hand? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six flowers. Three plus three equals six. The result of adding up three plus three is six. Let's do some practice. Pay attention. Two plus three equals one, two, three, four, and five. Two plus three equals five. Very well. Five plus three equals eight. There are a total of eight flowers. You're doing great, kids. Let's move on to our next game. Hello, little bear. You have so much honey. Would you share some with me? Of course. I gave you two. I have four left. Little bear had six honey jars. He gave me two. How many honey jars does he have left? Yes, you got it. Six minus two equals four. Little bear has four honey jars left. This is the subtraction operation. When the little bear gave me two out of six honey jars, he had four left. Subtraction is actually quite fun, isn't it? Let's see what else we can subtract together. I have three cupcakes. I ate two of them. How many cupcakes do I have left? Let's calculate. I have three cupcakes. I ate two of them. When I subtract two cupcakes, one is left. Let's do a few subtraction operations. Five minus three equals two. 8 minus 5 equals 3. 6 minus 3 equals 3. 4 minus 3 equals 1. Math isn't just about numbers. Now it's time to meet different shapes. Square, circle, triangle. We'll explore the characteristics of each shape. There is a shape with four equal sides. Additionally, each corner forms a 90 degree angle. Can you find the square object in this picture? Great! Now, let's move on to our next shapes. A triangle is a shape with three sides and three interior angles. Can you find the triangle object in this picture? 
Well done! The watermelon does indeed have a triangular shape. A circle has a boundary with a constant distance from a central point. Yes, the tennis ball is indeed in a circular shape. You've now learned about shapes. Don't forget to join Bonibon TV for amazing journeys together.